The Verrazano Bridge connected Staten Island to the other four boroughs, but it also helped push the North Shore's once thriving maritime and industrial community out to sea. When many of the businesses in those industries set sail, the smaller shops in the community sank too. The area plunged into an economic decline and has struggled to recover from ever since. That changed everything. It sent land prices higher. It made taxes go higher. Land be got, became really valuable in the late 1950s, early 1960s. And a lot of companies just did not want to pay that extra money. Their plants were old, they needed to be updated, they needed to be modernized. So instead of doing that and having to pay the taxes or having to buy new property, they just said, you know what, we're going to get out of here. Many stretches along the borough's four shores fell into a state of decay for decades. Since then, areas on the east and south shores have transformed into attractive parks, but the north shore has been slow to catch up. Many complex challenges now straddle the shoreline's five square miles. The coastline is obstructed by many of the former industrial sites. Problems like these have often prevented growth, but the city hopes that the findings of two studies that were released later this month will help address those issues. Staten Islanders like Linda Eskinas hope the recommendations will meet reality. Well, people have to be able to get what they need, you know, food and you know, all kinds of, of things, and be able to just sit down with a newspaper or something and have their coffee and, you know, great places, which are, and everything should be affordable so that that's what makes it go around. With few public transportation options available, for the residents of neighborhoods like Mariner's Harbor, Port Richmond, and New Brighton, Eskenaz says that just getting a cup of coffee or picking up groceries can seem impossible. Restoring the North Shore rail line might provide that spark. Both of the city's plans share some of the same goals and same challenges. Renderings from the draft of the North Shore 2030 plan show how an area like New Brighton might look with water shops, improved roads, and waterfront access. But, she says, if the city continues to label the North Shore as an industrial area, progress will never be made. It stops everything, and it's a it's downward economic spiral. And you can see what, from what's there. Staten Island's image as an industrial area doesn't just provide bad material for a travel brochure. It poses serious environmental hazards as well. Areas like the former uranium storage site under the Bayonne Bridge pose many hazardous and complicated problems. Problems that are expensive to clean up. As the city puts the final touches on these reports, it is unclear how the mayor's recent budget cuts will affect these proposals. At this point, the plans are simply recommendations. While there has been no money allocated to finance any of these projects, Staten Islanders hope this time the ideas don't wash away with the tide. For the New York City News Service, I'm Bill Klein.